YouTube, what is good? You know we are locked out of Facebook and Instagram today, so I'm choosing to take advantage of that time, spring break, and upload to YouTube. I had a sick day of pond fishing the other day. Absolutely slayed the bass at a new pond in Dallas, Texas. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna roll that footage right here. That's number nine today, y'all. What up, y'all? Good morning. It is 7.33. And uh, we over here at this new spot I found off Frankfurt in the Tollway. The place is legit, man, right in this neighborhood. The birds love you. They're all just trying to get some food. <laughs> Making my first cast of the morning. I saw this on Fish Brain a long time ago. We wanted to check it out. It's right behind like Papa Doe's. A little windy this morning, it's cloudy. Starting off with this shad chatterbait. Hope you're gonna hit my line. Oh wow, very quickly. Oh, I, I hit him on the bank. <laughs> That's before sunrise, baby. Yes. And it's my first catch on this chatterbait in a while. Oh my goodness, we found the diamond in the rough. Look at this place, look at this place. I'm throwing this uh, Shad and Chartreuse chatterbait to start. It's got this gold deal up front and uh, it's got a four inch exo swim, swim bait trailer on it. So that is the setup, man. And both of these came in a mystery tackle box. I think I got the Z-Man chatterbait in uh, December or January's box and then I got these exo swim trailers the following month so it just worked out perfect and in case you're wondering I have my weight peg on here just because I had a Texas rig tied onto this uh, setup man windy and cloudy this thing should be spanking I'm like where are they at I got that one guy and it's been another <laughs> it hasn't been that long <laughs> but I'm just antsy now I want more I want more I can't wait to just try everything around this pond. Ooh, it looks so good. And I should go get this Texas rig because when I hit that tree over there, I'm just going to want to like toss them. You know what? I think I'm going to go grab the Texas rig, even though my plan was to walk all the way around. Don't you guys contemplate this every time you go out? It's like if you're using a moving bait, you just want to carry the one rod and reel and you just want to cover water and walk around the pond and have a good old time and not have to worry about carrying a ton of gear. But then, you get to a section of the pond like that tree right there and you're like, well, it, where's my Texas rig? I'm trying to get in there. Where's my jig? Where's my, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go to the car, suck it up and just carry a second rod around this place with me. Dallas, what's going on, YouTubers? We are out here having some fun. Already cranked in the first fish, sun's arising. I went and grabbed a couple more combos out of the car and uh, we're gonna have some fun throwing the Texas rig now to go with the chatterbait. And I even brought the lipless out. It's windy, it's cloudy, things are looking good. We're gonna see what they want. All right, we're back. We went ahead and grabbed the cam. A couple more combos. Now we're looking like serious pond hoppers. And this pocket over here seems a little bit more calm than the wind out on that away. So let me just hit let me just hit this little area right here real fast with the bandito boat. Oh. Is our line swimming? I think something picked this baby up. Yep. Heck yeah. He had it for a second too and I just, I thought I had got a bite right after I cast it in there. That was perfect. Oh, oh, oh yes. He's a pound and a half for sure. Look at him fighting. Okay. You know, that might be two. God dang, we're gonna have to go get the scale over here. Puppy hit the bandito bug stat and it's gone. Look at that bandito, that bandito bug is gone. That was like third cast right over here. I'm gonna get back in there. Oh. Don't throw your vlogging camera. That was like third cast in that corner over there with the bandito bug. Look at him, he's a solid, chunky, fat pound and a half to two pounds. Let's get him back in the water and just get another, come on. All right, we gotta go get the pliers. Should have had these on me to begin with, but I'm slacking. Okay, all right, I'll be back for y'all. I gotta get him back in the water, or her. There we go, okay. There we go, watermelon red. That's what I'm talking about. So we caught MTB Pro Bait. 
fish this morning. Guggen bait fish this morning. Oh yeah. They hitting. Thank goodness too, because we want to catch fish, don't we? On a smaller two aught worm hook. Uh, I, I, I usually go with four aught if I'm not mistaken, but I just grabbed the two aughts last time I was in the store, and so they've been getting the job done. Oh wait, Wu Tungsten. Let's drop that peg down. These are the Wu Tungsten pegs. I found that these Wu Tungsten pegs are uh, pretty good. They kind of hold that weight down there. If you're talking about like quarter ounce or three eighths ounce, they hold that weight uh, to your bait a little bit better than the other brand I've been buying just at the store field and stream that you would see popularly. I don't know if it's like, I, I don't know what brand it is, but either way, these Wu Tungsten uh, weight pegs are really good. Switch it up for just a second. I'm gonna throw that lipless. Oh, there we go, there we go. Did he come off? I think he came off. Nope, nope, he's just swimming towards us. Is, do I have a fish? Dude, this thing casts so far. It's like, he's just way out there. Oh, you know, maybe my drag is just low right now. There we go. I'm telling you, I love this search bait knocking trap right here by Jenko Fishing, I believe it is. It's, uh, it's a beast. It got this little guy right after we got one on the Bandito Bug, right after we got one on the Chatter Bait. Man, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a good morning right now. Let me go ahead and get him back in the water. Swimming away quick. There he is. Fourth fish of the morning. Bandito bug. Watermelon red. Nice, man. Oh, oh, and he's a polka dotted one. I've seen some with these polka dots. He's got some dots on his lips. He's got a dot on his gill there. There we go. Re-rigged bandito. Fourth fish in the morning. I think I'm gonna grab the gear and bring it on this way. That way I can make my way down a little further into this corner and around this pocket. But loving life this morning. There's number five. Oh, he came off. Damn. Not a good hook set. Ah. He picked it up and he ran straight towards me. It went slack. I felt a little dink and then he he literally swam it straight into me. I reeled it in, felt him, set it. And uh, that was the first one that's gotten off this morning. It's okay. Look at, I just realized, look at these eggs right here too. These duck eggs or whatever. He's on. There we go. That's fish number five. Yeah. Get him on that heavy rod. Hey, good morning. How are you? Oh, he wants the fish, I bet. <laughs> oh, go on, little buddy. Woo, he off. Caught the fifth fish on the bandito bug this morning. Wait, fifth fish on a bandito bug. Third fish on the bandito bug this morning. One on the rattle trap, one on the chatter bait. I don't know if they're hitting the moving stuff as much right now. Uh, like they were this morning, so I'm just going with the tried and true slow and steady Texas rig. I'm here probably fishing for a solid solid hour now, I'd say. Six bites, that's good. Average one every 10 minutes, that's fine with me. Nine o'clock in the morning right now in DFW. 51 degrees, a little breezy, but I'm, I'm like right here by these trees, so I'm kind of in this more calm pocket. And uh, just waiting to hook up with like a two and a half to three pounder. I was trying to be quiet. I thought I might have spooked a bass. I saw a little swirl there, but this is a nice little point here. I'm gonna try this. Oh, oh, fudge. No, just missed another. Gotta let him eat it, man. It's always a toss up for me. Like, I, I, golly. I don't know whether to just set the hook right off the bat. It felt like a solid tug right there. I thought that would have been a two plus pounder for sure. Like, with a tug like that, you really, it's tough to say, I'm sure, but. Usually I like to let them nibble on it for a minute. Really prove to me that they've got it. And when it's swimming around, that's when I go in for the kill. We might be able to snag homie if we go by him a second time. We'll see what happens. I see lots of line dangling from the trees here. I think I just got bites. Yep, 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 there he is. There he is, okay, sweet. He feels, he feels, feels all right. Oh no he's not, he's a little guy. <laughs> he's flopping though. 
flopping like a big one. Y'all, the bite is just on this morning, man. It's pretty fun, I gotta tell you. I haven't had a day of fishing where they're just biting, biting, biting like this. Another one on the Bandito Bug, Watermelon Red Flake. They're hammering it, man. I'm happy. Happy camper. Hey, one second. Geese. Man, the bite slowed down this last like 45 minutes. So what I'm doing is tying on a fresh bandito bug with some fresh scent. Good to go. Finally. Yeah, swim it over here, Big Bertha. It's probably the biggest one. Sweet. Oh, it's been a minute. It's probably been an hour since the last fish. It's 10.15. It's probably been an hour since the last fish. Let's go ahead and weigh it just to see. That way you guys have an idea if you come out here what you might be catching. All right guys, we just got probably the biggest one yet. I snagged him a little bit, so I'm gonna get him back in the water quick. He'll be fine, but I just wanna get a quick wait for you guys. I know you're curious what you might be able to catch out of this pond at Frankfurt in the tollway if you give it a shot. So, scale zeroed out. I'd say a pound and three quarters. Wow, I was so wrong. 2.27, so two and a quarter. All right, well, my judgment's off, but it's very fat. Just had to get his bearings and he's off. All right, cool. Bandito bug is rocking and rolling today. Yes, yes, yes. Look, y'all, the big one's over here. This might be the biggest one of the day right here. That's another one. I'm telling you, they love, look, if you guys fish with the Guggen baits, they love the scent. Like, I wasn't getting bit for a while, and then I just switched to this new one uh, two fish ago now, but it's literally, it's brand new. Still smells like that Guggen sauce, man. Oh, sweet. Wowzers. Fat little one, they're definitely healthy. We out here with fish number seven, ladies and gents. Come on, let's get after it. The, uh, the the bandito bug is just rocking the house, man. Watermelon red flake, I don't know. I, I rarely use that watermelon red flake. I'm always throwing the natural or even the black and blue. Uh, having luck with the Okeechobee craw color lately. I've thrown it all, man, but they are hitting the watermelon red. This is just a nice morning to be out here fishing. I say morning, I almost forget. It's 10.30, yeah, we good. Uh, Christian's on his way over, so Christian will be fishing with me here in a minute. I just gotta make this pack of bandito bugs last because I think I only got this one of watermelon red, then I'm gonna have to throw another color. Two more, oh my gosh. What am I gonna do after this? I might have more, I'm, I honestly might have more. First turtle I've seen all day. Oh. Is he on? Oh, damn. We missed him. That bass chomped it. He took both of the pinchers on the back. Oh my gosh, the hook barely missed him. Like he grabbed that thing. Oh wow, that could have been a decent one right there. That was a solid bite right under that turtle. I just didn't set the hook right away. Yep. Come on up, come on up, buddy. That's a little number eight. A future lunker. He is a... Uh, healthy little pup. We better let him in where he can swim away with confidence. Doink. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He gone. Is this not like the coolest pond ever? They've been biting, man. It's been a, it's been a lot of small ones, but I'm up to eight. Dang it, y'all, I'm over here working. This is driving me nuts. Y'all know I'm a fish behind now, so if, if I say 9, I mean 10. If I say 11, I mean 12. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Yeah, I just got one after I said that one uh, messed up my pinchers, but he was a little guy. Y'all, it's the last one. We're going to have to switch up colors after this. Mm. We burned through this package this morning. I, I, I haven't gone through. It's not like I went through like 10 bandito bugs on five fish or, or nine fish now, but I only had like four in there to start this morning, three or four. So... They've been holding up pretty dang good. Where'd my hook go? All right, y'all, we just switched up locations. We're in this little corner pocket right here. It looks pretty good. Well, I don't know. 
Where did the action <laughs> action go? <laughs> uh. Oh! It broke me off. And he's flopping away with it. And oh my gosh! Holy smokes! Christian just broke off. He's probably gonna free himself, honestly. He's probably gonna spit it loose and then just be swimming off. And what's weird is I swear, I swear you set the hook and it, it was good. Yeah. And then it, like, I wonder if it was just, I wonder if it was just his teeth. Like, you know, maybe just hit the right spot on that line. Where does this go? <laughs> Lipless. Finally got a bite, y'all. Uh, I haven't been filming. It's been like an hour and a half since I got anything. That's bass number 10, by the way. That's what we needed, man. Number 10. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fishing, but I might, uh, I might call the vlog here. It's been such a great video, I feel like, with all the catches we got. I ran a little bit of B-roll. I got you guys on the Ronin S right now. In fact, let me just pick you up, why not? And it was a fun vlog, man. A lot of fun fishing. Christian's here. He got broken off. I think he's still yet to bring his first fish in, which is a bummer, but uh, you guys know if you are interested in any of my gear that I use. That I like to link it down in the description below for y'all. My favorite rods, my favorite reels, my favorite baits. Mystery Tackle Box. You guys know I've been using that subscription service lately, throwing all kinds of new stuff and uh, really loving it, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. Here we go, we got another one on the lip list. This is number 11. He's, he's a pound and a half, maybe two, right? Nah, he smiled. They switched up, man. Now they want to move and it seems like they haven't been hitting the bottom baits this last hour. The bite is very sparse, y'all. I'm on the iPhone. We're just sticking around. We got number 12, though, on the plum mondo worm. Check this out. Let me let him go. This, I swear to you, this was a mondo worm. <laughs> it was a 10 inch mondo worm and I just kept ripping it across stuff and tearing it up and so I shortened it down and shortened it down. The tail got a little messed up so it's not even on one piece. It's starting to look more and more like a Ned rig but it's getting the job done. So weight peg, Texas rigged, mondo worm, plum color, first time ever catching one on this color. Dope. Oh, we're in the clear. I'm gonna cast over you but you'll be long gone by the time I... We almost hit the drain. <gasps>